Hey, what's up, guys? It's Ariana, and welcome to my Japan souvenir haul. Yay! Oh my gosh, so you guys know that I did go to Japan, and of course, I hauled some souvenirs. Not just beauty products, but some stuff that I have in this super cute Uritama bag. I got this at the Sanrio store in Osaka, and I will show you what I hoarded. When I visited Harajuku in Tokyo, it was raining hard and there's barely anyone there, which was kind of nice, but also a bit of a pain in the butt because rain plus the cold, it was awful. But I did manage to swoop into a store and cop this super cute sweater. Look at that. Hey. It's a dude dressed up as Minnie Mouse, but it's so curious because look at it. Totally forgot where I got this. I know it looks like just a normal hairband, but it's got a wire in it so that it can retain its shape. Like right now I have my hair in a ponytail, so I'll just go like this. And wrap it maybe once. Like a bunny. I love it. Now, I'm not in yellow for just any random reason, but because I'm obsessed with Guritama, I think you can tell from my Guritama roll up bag. So, this bag came in this little thing. It's so cute. Look at that. It's not the only Guritama stuff I got, guys. Check this out. So, of course, I got Guritama socks with takoyaki on them. And then I have another one which looks like a nigiri sushi. So cute! Now I have this Murutama mechanical pencil. Let's focus. Ah! How cute is a little egg on top? It's so cute! I love it. I love the birds chirping in the background. Now, another place that I super hoarded for souvenirs and toys for myself was Kitty Land. And I found these. Star Wars chopsticks, okay? They are lightsabers, mini lightsabers, and there's a button on here which you press and they light up. Ooh, it lights up green, it's really cool when it's dark because you can see them really light up. I just think they're so cute. I mean, look at that. I love Star Wars, so of course I have to get this, but I bought this for my brother and he really likes it. He does not use chopsticks yet, but this motivates him to learn. And y'all know I love me my Sailor Moon. So I got myself a Sailor Chibi Moon keychain. But Sailor Moon is my favorite right now. I mean, they didn't have her, they sold out because Hello Sailor Moon is the most popular. Hey. And we can't forget that Japan is famous for their gacha toys. So these are little capsules filled with toys. They come out of a dispenser and you put in 100, 200 yen sometimes and these pop out. You never know what you're gonna get. So I'm gonna show you what I got. Okay, so let's open the smallest one first. All right, so I got a doge. <laughs> it's a little Shiba. It's so cute. I really like this dog because it looks so happy with life. Next in this white capsule is, oh my gosh. It's Chef Guritama on a fork! So I do have more Guritama stuff, look at that. Chef Guritama being lazy af, but also being punctured by a fork. Totally normal. One of the bigger ones. Oops. It's got this huge paper. Oh, no. But that's not the highlight here. It's this. It's a cat. Okay, this is really cute because it sits on your glass like this. So while you're drinking and stuff, there's a little cat perched over. Just watch. It is a button. It's a cute pin. Ah, it's too cute. Maybe I can wear it here while we're, while we're going through the other stuff. <laughs> That's so cute, it matches with my sweater. So of course I couldn't go without getting the Daruma. So 
these guys I got at the Oriental Bazaar in Omotesando in Tokyo. And basically, you make a wish with these by drawing in one of the eyes. And when the wish comes true, you draw in a second eye. And I think it's a really cool gift to give to your friends or even to your family. I don't think we need things like this to help us make our dreams come true, but I just think it's really fun and it's a cool memento. Oh, it's so cute! So there it is. You draw in one of the eyes here when you make the wish, and then you draw in the other eye when the wish comes true. Lastly, from Kinokuniya, I was totally debating over getting this on my Instagram stories and you guys convinced me to get it. So this is a card capture Sakura box set. Now it's just the very first edition and the very first volume of Card Captain Sakura, which is one of my favorite animes and mangas. And it comes with a coloring set. It's so cute and I really just wanted it because of the the pen. The staff pen. It's too cute. Look at that. I mean, okay, this is about 2,280 yen. That's almost a thousand something pesos. I don't regret it at all. Oh my god! The coloring thing is shaped like club cards. Let's open it up now. So here we have the manga. Of course it's in Japanese, so I can't understand it. What I'm interested in is what's in the box. Alright, so there is a whole list of things. How to use it, what's inside, how to mix colors. This is for kids, but I'm a child. My inner child is like freaking out! I love it! Ah. You can trace them with this and then color it in! Oh my goodness! It's a light box! Japan! Japan! What you gonna think of next? I love it, I love it. So I can't wait to use this. Alright, so this video has gone on long enough for me just ranting. Let's go on to our very last item on the list. He proposed. No, okay, well, to commemorate my trip, I love getting something that will stay with me forever, so I got this charm from Pandora. I love it. They had their limited edition pink boxes. They asked me if I wanted the white one. I'm like, no, girl, give me the pink. So in Tokyo, in Pandora, I got a charm of a cherry blossom. I think it's very apt for commemorating my trip, and I'm glad that I got to spend it with my dad as well, and also got some cute stuff to bring home to my friends and my family. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesomeness. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Always love you, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! And we can't forget that. Uh, uh, hair in my mouth. Uh. Okay, so right outside of my window, there are some men playing golf. They're kind of noisy and they're still looking at me. It's like they've never seen a YouTuber before.